Hello, it is I, Baldy Connolly. How you doing? When I was a teenager, I never ever had any luck at all at chatting at women. Me and my pals, we'd go into town, we'd get the bus into town, and uh, we'd go and drink with all the hairy people. You know, there was a club, and it was Brill. And they play loud rock music. And I desperately fancied every woman that I saw, you know. They all used to look exactly the same. Jet black hair and black lycra and black leather jackets. Lycra should come with a warning. It should come with a wee, a wee warning. This will make your ass look even bigger. <laughs> but I didn't mind, you know. <laughs> Black leather jackets, black t-shirt, lots of makeup, you know. And I and I desperately wanted one that was like that. And eventually I did have a girlfriend that was like that. But we'd go into town and try all night to chat up women and never get anywhere, you know. I'd be trying to make them laugh and they'd be laughing and they'd be saying, oh, you're so funny, you're so funny. Say, hey, fuck funny. Let's growl for a bit, you know. <laughs> Fuck funny. Get your fucking knickers off. Because <laughs> they always wanted to be my friend, you know. So I've got plenty of friends. What I really want is a fire-breathing whore. <laughs> I want a slut. <laughs> I want somebody to do bad things to me. <laughs> To leave me a shadow of my former self, throw me around the bedroom. <laughs> but I don't want a fucking friend, that's the last thing I want. But I, <laughs> but there was a girl that would go to the club, her name was Eleanor, and she, she was a bit strange looking. She'd sort of a long face, you know, like a horse. She'd no neck, and she was kind of stout looking, you know. And if because she'd no neck, if you shouted her name, she had to turn her whole body round to face you. So you'd say, Eleanor! It'd take her a fucking fortnight to turn round, but by the time she'd turn round, you'd be gone, you know. But one night, Eleanor made a move on me. And, uh, and, and, uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's tattooed on the inside of my brain. I've never forgotten it. As I say, she was, she was a kind of stout woman. Tattoos all down her arms, and and the, the the tattoos weren't pictures or anything like that. There was that strange habit that women have now, and men too, of of putting names and fucking numbers and shit all over their arms. You you sh it's like shagging a fucking yellow pages for Christ's sake. So she she had all these names down her arm, and I said there. Who are they? I said, are they your children? She said, no. She said, they're, they're ex-boyfriends. There's about 15 fucking names in her arm. And she's looking at me as though I'm going to be number 16. I thought, not fucking likely. And she she made a move on me. She slid her hand into my into my shirt. I was wearing a shirt. And she slid her hand into my shirt. And uh, I've got pierced nipples. And no, I'm not going to show them to you, you filthy bugger. But I've got pierced nipples, and she, she put her hand into the shirt, and she touched my nipple ring, and her eyes lit up, you know. Ooh, what have we got here? Eleanor, behave yourself, for goodness sake, get your hand out, shut. I thought, right. I was drunk, but I wasn't that drunk, you know. So I left, sharpish, you know. Uh, Eleanor, I've got to go and buy some cigarettes. Oh, I've got some here. No, no, these are purple-tipped Tibetan ones. They're, they sell them down the street. I won't be five minutes. And of course, I f f fuck, I fucked off, you know. Couldn't they see me for dust? The following morning, I, 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 I woke up and I thought, I've got an incredibly itchy chest, you know. And I looked down and there was a big, suppurating, pus-filled boil where my nipple used to be. And where she, where she touched me, you know. And I thought, my God, she must have had dirt or something under her fingernails or something. She was a very dirty girl, you know. I thought, thank God I didn't bring her home, you know. 
Jesus, wake up in the morning, you look down your crotch, there's a fucking ugly gaping wound there. <laughs> ah! Where your bollocks used to be, you know. <laughs> your dick's laying on the fucking carpet. <laughs> fucking talk about a narrow escape. But I said before that I eventually managed to get lucky with, with, with one of the girls that drank there. And her name was Rosie, big Rosie. She was a big girl, and uh, which is fine, you know. I've nothing against big women at all. Just don't tell me that you're big boned, you know. <laughs> so, I'm big boned. Ah, your ass bone's a hell of a fucking size. <laughs> Only exceeded by the size of your belly bone. <laughs> Fuck off, you. I'm retaining water. No, you're not. You're retaining pizza. <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> Slow metabolism, my ass. Slow metabolism and a fast fucking appetite. <laughs> but big Rosie. See, so she was she was a big girl, big curvy girl. She, but uh, at, at, at the height of passion, I said something really stupid. And she finished with me, and rightly so, because it was a silly thing that I said. We were in bed together, and uh, messing about, and uh, <laughs> I told her to lie down and think of chips. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> didn't really. <laughs> lie back, Rosie, and think of beef burgers. This will all be over in an instant. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. She, it was, it was, we're rolling around in the bed, and uh, and I thought, Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm up awful high here, you know. I thought, well, we, we should be roped up. So maybe that's how bondage was invented. Fat people having sex, you know. So, but I looked out the window, and I said, oh my God, I can see my house from here. And it ruined the whole moment, you know. <laughs> she wasn't very impressed. <laughs> Big Rosie, I wonder what ever happened to her. Anyway, see, I'd said something yesterday about an ex-girlfriend and, and a pal of mine, Yvonne, from Scotland. Uh, she said, uh, you must tell me about your ex-girlfriend. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll do it today before I forget. Anyway, that's the end of that. I'll see you later.